Well, let's get back to the markets now as we're seeing this rally. I mentioned what's going on with coronavirus cases. One of the other things that market participants are taking into account as well is a report that China plans to accelerate purchases of American farm goods to comply with the phase one trade deal. Remember that U.S. and Chinese trade officials met in Hawaii uh, this week. Nonetheless, the the buying that we have seen is still far below where it was uh, just a few years ago. Rich Steinberg is joining us now. He's the Colony Group chief market strategist. I know there are a lot of factors to take into account with the market today, but I do want to ask you, first of all, about trade, Rich, and how encouraging you think this step is, but also how important the trade question is or not to markets at this point. Certainly, they haven't been paying a lot of attention to it recently. No, but I think it's going to be a focus for investors uh, going into the election. Let's break it down into some pieces. Uh, for the first part of the year, there just was not enough ag bought. So the Chinese government, I think, uh, is working with us to try and get in front of which something that could end up being a pretty rough dialogue going into the election from both Democrats and Republicans. You know, that the trade deal isn't going to be fulfilled in the phase one, and we're going to have a whole dialogue of onshoring supply chain, and China will be in the in the uh, radar of investors as well as the political base in, in this country. So I think these talks are helpful, and it's certainly helpful for uh, the farmers and ag community that really is suffering. For people who invest on a regular basis, I'm curious, you mentioned that you have raised cash and you're kind of got this cash to the side looking for a pullback of about 10 percent to get back in. What do you think might trigger that for people who are looking for a go button? So I run the tactical money within the firm as a firm, as our, uh, overall, the other models tend to stay fully invested. But I'm the piece that tends to be tactical. A couple of things to think about. You know, when it comes to valuation, we can't get true valuation right now. There's no guidance. It's still in the air. And where the market's trading right now, it's trading on fumes tied to $150 worth of annualized uh, normalized earnings and a 20 multiple gets you to 3000 on the S&P. So as a valuation guy, I would expect that the sentiment and the hope trade that things are getting better will probably settle in in some type of reality here, and it'll give us a chance to redeploy some cash. Hey, Rich, Rick Newman here. Uh, last year, as this China phase one trade deal was getting negotiated and tariffs were on, tariffs were off, we did see markets yo-yoing, mainly because of the tariffs. Um, the investors don't really care about Chinese agricultural purchases um, but they do care about tariffs. So what are the markers that would move markets with regard to China leading up to the uh, election in November? Well, I think if there's progress on phase one and the conversation of phase two comes up, that's where the real difficult conversation with China comes up. It turns into uh, IP, it ties into human rights. So I think it could end up being a lightning rod issue. I think it's just a checkbox uh, Rick, of some of the things that we need to get out of the way in terms of getting the economy back to quote unquote normal. Rich, uh, you know, you look at uh, Trump's comments saying that uh, the U.S. can fully decouple from China uh, under certain circumstances. Uh, and you look at the markets today, that's a pretty uh, out there statement to make. Uh, and it would drive that. From... What's that? It's not fact based. Right. So I, I guess, is that why we're not seeing the uh, the, the market react uh, so dramatically to something like that? Because that is a, a huge thing to say. I think what's really driving the market right now is the on-off worry of whether or not, let's call it a phase two or be, continuation of phase one of what's going on with the virus and whether or not economies will start to slow back down or affect consumer sentiment. I think is driving things way more than anything else. I think the China piece is a dot on a multi-dotted graph that is a checkbox. Like, yeah, we we shouldn't forget about you know trade and getting uh, our exports going because that will help create jobs and help the narrative of getting people back to work as well. So that's where it ties in, in my opinion. Rich, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Rich Steinberg is the Colony Group Chief Market Strategist.
Thanks. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.